Hello everybody, it's me, Lindsay Rogers. Welcome back to the Wrestling Fan Vlog. And today, I hate to say this, but I know I shouldn't say the hate, but I have no other choice. But I just found out this morning that, um... I just found out this morning, um... That Chuck Gaspard is no longer with us. And th how I know this is because there came from a tweet. Um, he's tr He was trending on, uh, he's uh, trending on Twitter. And now there's a tweet coming from, uh, Danielle Guzman. Guzman, I guess how they say it. Sorry, I'm butchering. Uh, she's a, uh, she's, a. Uh, She's a morning anchor for NBC Los Angeles. This that's the uh NBC affiliate. It, um anyway, she and it says in her, her she's bilingual and two time Emmy Award journalist, I guess, but she's a mom, a believer, a wife, a prankster, and super competitive. But anyway, um she posted on here. Hashtag breaking news. Investors say, investigators say a body matching the description of the missing father, former WWE wrestling star Shaq Gaspard, had washed ashore in Venice. He was swept away by a rip current while swimming with his 10 year old son. Son was rescued by lifeguards and she tagged the, she tagged in NBC Los Angeles. So, Anyway, I was really kind of, I'm really shocked right now. But what's more crazier than that is I just found out about something else. About two about two days ago, um JTG, who who is his tag team partner, um his form, now should I say former tag team partner, tweeted a, actually sh just shared, not tweeted, but he shared a photo on Twitter. He also posted it on Instagram and of a uh, text message that he got from uh, Shad back on January 26th of this year. And the, tw and the text message says, from Shad, he says, if I ever die tomorrow, just know I love you as a brother and friend forever, even past this life. JTT responded, love you too, brother. Hashtag no homo. And I was like, wow. Anyway, everybody's um, talking about this. I mean, um, he's trending right now on Twitter. Er, um, people are talking about this. Uh, Chris Danker, who I know of in, within the gaming community as well as the pro wrestling community, he tweeted, um, damn, damn man, what a, uh, what a hero. I'm not gonna say the F word, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Chris. Uh, can't imagine what his family feels. Rip shot. I mean, don't I don't blame you. I mean, I'm I'm on there too, man. Um. I mean, I saw him, when I went to try to make this video first. Um, before I had to fix it. Um, I saw Mike Bennett tweet about it. Um. Heck, um, heck, I guess I'll, I'm going to say something about this, because I want to, and before I continue, I want to send out my condolences to his now widow and son, um, because of this, and i like to tell you a, a little story. This actually evolved back in, how long has it been? About, almost 13 years ago? What happened was, um, my mother had somehow pulled off this, um, this, uh, um, 
pulled this off. She bought two tickets for the both of us to be front and road to a Dirty Roll event in um, at the Wildwood Convention Center. And my uh and it was really kind of cool in a way i mean the only thing was i had to use the bathroom and i couldn't hold it in until like after the show had ended and kind of nearly almost hurt my whole entire stomach in the process and also probably nearly kind of wrecked my almost could wreck my kidneys um but anyway, enough of that. But what happened was when I went to when I had got up and I was hoping that I could get to the bathroom, but I didn't. And uh, I couldn't do buy any of the merch because it was a big long line. But then I couldn't get back there before um, JTT and uh, Shad came out and they were in a tag team match against then tag team champions Landscape and Jordan Murdoch. So when Crime Time came out. Um, I don't know what happened, but probably, I don't know, I think my mom tried to tell me it was Shad, um, took my purse, and he, they took it, and they gave it back to my mom, I mean, I mean, I'm glad they didn't do, I'm just glad they were just being, in like, good guys, and not doing anything wrong, but, you know, and then, of course, and then I came back, and I see the guys in there, and then Kane Murdoch came out, out, they had the tag, they had the tag team match, um, and I remember Lance ended up pinning, uh, Shad for the win, and, um, after that, uh, both Shad and JT decided to take Turin Murdoch's hat, and they did this on Monday Night Raw, and they would auction off his, off, uh, they would end up auctioning the hats, at, and they did with Turin Murdoch, and the guys got money that night. <laughs> I, I, and somebody took away uh, somebody got the Turin Murdoch's hat I was like dang <laughs> now, even though I will admit that I will admit this that despite that Kane and Murdoch were my, were my favorite tag team and I know that they were heels but JTG and Shad weren't fun to watch and enjoy I mean I guess you can say they were my second best that team, Mike would say. I mean, and then, of course, I get onto social media, and I seen that some people had shared their stories about him. Like, one that nearly interested me was uh, Tony Deppin, uh, who I had heard of, because <laughs> apparently he, um, he had a, uh, he had a, um, how do I say this? He had a, uh, match against him, I guess. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, here we go. I found it. This is Tony Depp. And I found, I heard about him through, um, another wrestler he went up against. Um, that is Tim Donst. Um, this is what Tony had tweeted out out a photo of him being tossed by Shad and he said Shad I'm going to throw you into the fence and he says what if they don't catch me he, Shad said they will he throws his he says throws me into the crowd everyone moves minus one guy flies towards that guy and he ducks Shad laughing sorry man almost got him <laughs> oh jeez uh, <laughs> um, it nearly it makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. <laughs> it it was really funny that happened. I guess it was during a regular match or a tag team match. I guess. Wait, oh, wait, there's more to this. Um, somebody in the conversation, uh, somebody named Keith Blalock, um, tweeted at Tony. He shared, uh, a, a, uh, a screenshot of a tweet. And it says here, uh, it's from a guy named Brett Lauderdale. It's tweeted, Shad and JTT were so 
cool, was so cool and kind every time uh, they, even though he's taunting the shot, every time he was at or around G GCW. At GCW versus Suburban Fight in Los Angeles is um yeah and okay Los Angeles um oh wait I was in awe as he picked up Deppin and with ease and threw him um in football at an old <laughs> TV set. And then, I don't know, it's hard to see, but Tony said, I wish there was a picture of that and him flipping a jet ski towards me. And then Keith was by, I'm sorry, a what? And then some guy named, some guy, I guess, me, me, son, he just, he just showed off of a, t showed off a link, which I tap onto it, and it's from SoCal Uncensored, and it was a match they had. I guess something happened. Okay, so this is what happened. Ben, um, I guess this is some kind of ma This is probably some kind of result happening. Um, I guess I can. F okay, so here's so this is what it it happened here. It says here Jimmy Lloyd and Tony Depton versus Crime Time that shut Gasper in GTD. Um, the writer of this article. Posted, I guess. Um, it's some guy named Andrew. Really, no last name. Anyway, um, it says here Jimmy Lloyd and Tony Devin versus Crime Time. Uh, the writer says this is one of the most surreal pro wrestling matches I ever seen in my life. Things started out with Jimmy Lloyd spraying a fighting extinguisher into Crime Time's eyes. <laughs> From what I told, Steve was not a big fan of this spot. Uh, as he was standing behind Crime Time when it happened. <laughs> In a way, Jimmy Lloyd technically assaulted Steve. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking about this. Um, <laughs> and, they, and there was things like it was a fun brawl. I'll include that. I'll include um, Tony Depp in, in, in the in, uh, fun. Um, how this happened, including their match, uh, in the description, as well as, uh, GTG and that, uh, NBC, uh, Los Angeles reporter. So I don't get into trouble. But anyway, um, yeah. I'll probably, I'll probably go look through my Facebook my personal Facebook account and see if I can find the old photos. And if I can, I'll post them up on Instagram. Just make sure to follow me. I think I'll post them under, um, probably Lindsay Star or Lindsay Rogers. Check both of them in case. So anyway, I hope you all understand this. Um, I'm not asking for likes today. Just make sure to please, uh, share and subscribe. I know it's been sad, but... I mean, this is really sad enough, and, you know, it nearly, I'm just feeling so sad about this to happen. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I promise you guys I will have a better video probably by tomorrow, because I'm going to do an all the wrestling uh, review, because I'm going to watch that tonight. I mean, dang. Can't believe this happened. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Till then. Bye.